evening, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls. What, you can't see me very... Please turn this off, please. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. So, my name is Professor Hertz van Rendel. I am the professor of this nuclear psychology at this University of Logenholm in South East Queensland. And I am here today to talk to you about this Frank Zuki Akata know-how. Okay, first of all, please, I must apologize for this terrible accent. I bought this the other day, and this is now getting stuck in my teeth. So please excuse this fake Austrian accent. Okay, now, also we would like to actually introduce Lady, the ghost of Lady Gaga, who is my assistant. So put your, thank you. Thank you, Lady Gaga. So you will, you will find that she asks this question sometimes because sometimes she's a little confused and sometimes I am a little confused. Okay, thank you. So, what is this FSAK? The FSAK is this actor system called the Frank Suzuki Actor Kunohau. Okay, it is used in this company in, this, in Brisbane, Australia, because it's Oz Frank, as I have been using this system since 1993, I think. Ah, yes. You want to know why, what, what expertise I have with this system. I am, what is it called, the fake impresario. But also, I am a sister, I, I know the, the mother of the sister of the daughter of somebody who is involved in this company. So I am very, very well acquainted with this situation because I have just watched this, this company for oh, 30 years, many, many times. Okay, so this is my qualifications. As well as being a university of professor of nuclear psychology, I am also this friend of this company. Okay. So, in order to explain this FSAK, I'm going to show you this schematic almanac of the situation. Okay, so, thank you Mr. Cameraman, we have to go up to here. You will see up here, this is the Ausweg schematic almanac. You will see this year is 2008, which means this is four years ago. Four years ago, this was made as a system to show the the situation of this development of this FSAK. Okay, so what does this FSAK come from? This comes from this SMAT. This SMAT is the Zuki method of actor training. Okay, you have a question, Lady Gaga? Ah, this is a good question. So Lady Gaga is asking a question about is this the same system as the Zuki? music system, the violin system and this piano system. Well, that's not quite true. It is not the same system, but it comes from the same country, it has the same name, and also it uses the same sense of repetition. Okay, but our Suzuki is Mr. Suzuki Tadashi. So please, Mr. Cameraman, we have come down here to Mr. Suzuki Tadashi. So this down here is Mr. Tadashi Suzuki, he is born in Japan, of course, being Japanese, in 1939. And he makes, he first joins the theater, which is called the Waseda University Little Theater, in 1960 something. In 1966, he becomes the boss of this company, and then he also turns this company into Scott, which is Suzuki Company of Stoga. Toga is his village in the Japanese Alps where Mr. Suzuki has his headquarters and where he does his festivals and workshops and seminars and many, many things. There are many of these beautiful theaters. This is a very, very, very beautiful natural situation with not so much other stuff, not so crap. It's just theater and nature. Okay. So, very quickly, you will see from this, this schematic almanac but we have this big cloud in the middle. Okay. Inside this cloud, we have all these little clouds. These little clouds represent exercises and aspects of the training. So in the next hour, I will discuss this, each cloud. Okay, so inside we see these pictures of these people. What are these people and what is their relationship with the company? So these people are the actors, the directors, the choreographers, 
this dramaturgs and Velozova. Velozova, as well as all these friends of, and sponsors of the years, of 20 years of this development of this company. Okay, outside this big cloud, we have this inspiration, all this inspiration of all this stuff. So we have many, many things. And later on, as an addendum to this lecture, I will talk about this inspiration. But today we are talking mainly about this clouds on the inside. Okay, we have talked a little bit about Mr. Suzuki. You say, why? What is the, why FSAK and not the SMAT? What, do you have a question, Lady Gaga? Ah, another question. So why do we do the FSAK and not the SMAT? Yes. The SMAT is the original system, and the FSAK is the system. So put your hands properly down as your legs. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. So, the FSAK is a Western, Western version, a Western variant of this FSMAT. The SMAT is a Japanese system, which is incredibly classical, incredibly universal, and this uh, FSAK is a system designed by this Oz Frank Theatre Company, so the Western actors don't think they are doing a Japanese actor style training. Many people think this Suzuki message of actor training is a Japanese acting style, like a samurai style, like karate club. No, 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 no. The SMAT is a classic system, very similar, very similar to this classical ballet for this dance. In classical ballet, you have the many, many styles. You have this French style, you have this Russian style, you have this American style, Australian style, many, many styles. But underneath all these dancing styles is a technique which is very logical, very, uh, very, very thematic, and very, very integral. So each exercise is develops on one exercise after the other, after the other, after the other. So we have A to B to Z to D. Okay. This is the same as the SMAT and the FSAK. Okay. So, what is? We we'll move to this question, please, to this. So this basics, the basic exercise. Okay. So we have this SMAT and we have a SFSAK. We don't talk about this SMAT too much because this is FSAK therapy. Okay. So you notice this word stomp. What is a stomp? Uh huh. So the stomp is the most well. This is most most important structure of this training. The stomp. Is this planting of the ground, planting of the weight in the ground at strong energy. Many people think this stop is actually banging the ground. Tum, tum, tum. No, 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 no. The stomp is embrace of the ground at the high energy. So at the same time, of course, you must be strong, but you also must be soft. Okay? So this sense of the softness is because you must have the feeling. You must feel what you are doing. You cannot just do these things. If you do these things without the feeling, it is empty. It has nothing there. So you must be feeling very much strongly at the same time as being strong. So this stomp is also about softness and strength. So the softness and strength are balanced up. Sometimes it's possible to stomp without the noise, which means you have to be even stronger. One of the things that Mr. Suzuki says, the basic of his acting, in some ways, is that an actor should be like a jumbo jet at the top of the runway. So this is the runway here, this jumbo jet is here, and it's about to go zoom off the, down the, down the, uh, down the what is this thing? Taxi bay, taxi and up into the air. So at this beginning, before this goes, this engines are on full, but the brakes are on full. So this, what we call isometric energy between the engine and the brakes, is very, very important for this actor. So the same way this stomp is actually about the feeling, and the feeling of what happens after the stomp. The moment, the moment of the impact, the knowledge of the moment of the impact. Okay. So that is, it. That is the basics. This basic is four different situations. One goes to the side and the side and the side and the side, but doesn't move essentially of the spot. Then so basic number two, it goes forwards backwards in a like the tram track. The tram track goes like this and you stay on the tram track. That is number two. Number three 
it goes forward too, and it goes a little bit like, as the leg comes around like a tree trunk. And the number four starts down as the back and goes like this. This is not so important. The important thing is, what does it do for you? What does it do for you as, as a physical experience? 